Welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Jose. And I'm the man. It's Monday, September 9th. Today's birthday belongs to a comedian whose movies have made over $3 billion at the box office. This person worked at Saturday Night Live from 1990 till 95, when they went back to school and then to the golf course in their breakout films. So let's start with football. What a game on Friday night. The Ravens were led by Ishan Ortiz, who was simply put, unstoppable. He ran the ball 29 times for an insane 440 yards, earning five touchdowns along the way. Credit to the offensive line, who created space for Ishan to take off, and he did the rest. Also credit to the spirited student section, who cheered loudly all night, and especially when the lights went out, and the cheerleaders led in impromptu singing of the fight song. Great win, Ravens. Here are some highlights. Football will play again at home this Friday night, so make sure to make plans to show up again for another awesome student section. Also, there's a back to school dance after the game. The dance costs $15 or $10 with ASB, and tickets can be bought at lunch or after school in the bookkeeper's office. Tickets will only be sold until Thursday, so get yours as soon as you can. The theme for the game and the dance is back to the past and is 80s or neon theme. There were more Raven sports over the weekend. Boy, boys soccer had a tough match on Saturday versus visiting Corvallis. They'll have the week off from competition as they prep for putting them next week, and volleyball played at the Southridge Tournament against a solid Barlow team. The Ravens will face off against Tigger tomorrow night, tomorrow right here at home. Go Ravens! Esports is starting soon. Mr. Holloway is working through the last details and wants to have a quick lunch meeting on Wednesday to discuss games, pay to play, and the upcoming preseason. If you're interested in esports, bring your lunch to Mr. Holloway's game design room, A135 on Wednesday at lunch. Mr. Schmoody, our librarian, is interested to see if any students are interested in participating in the Oregon Battle of the Books. He'll have a sign-up list in the library just to see how many of you want to compete. There are a bunch of clubs starting back up. Here are a few. The first is Girls Who Code Club with Mr. Davis starting on Wednesdays at lunch and the GSA Club with Mr. Davis and Mrs. Gibson who, meet, who meets on Fridays at lunch. Ask them for more info or just show up. The Electric Vehicle Racing Club is back. Our race cars are ready for action, and the club is ready to kick off this year's racing season. Do you love cars, new technology, working with your hands? Then come check out what the RVHS uh, EV Racing Club is all about. The intro meeting is happening this Thursday at lunch in room A136. Bring your lunch, bring a friend, and come see the future of auto racing. Do you like theater or acting? The Dramas Club first meeting of the year will be lunch tomorrow. Tuesday in room A212. And if you want to start acting, the radio play auditions are coming next week. This is a great way to get involved on stage. The auditions are Monday through Wednesday next week in the black box. Wrestlers, listen up. There will be a wrestling meeting at the beginning of lunch on Thursday in Mr. Yankee's room, A202. Please be there. And that's our show for today. So whose birthday is it today? 
none other than Adam Sandler. Sandler's had many has been nominated for Grammys, Emmys, and Golden Globes, and won the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor in 2023. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash RidgeviewRavens. I'm the man. And I'm Jose. Have an epic day. Stay safe and stay classy.